so today I have a charm update for you guys. And sorry I haven't made one in a really long time. Um, I just haven't really felt like it. But finally getting around to doing it. So I'm going to go as fast as I can. Because I filmed these before and they took a really long time. So yeah. First I made all of these Oreo Cabochons. So yeah. Then I made this Oreo cookie. And I actually checked my friend with it. She almost ate it. <laughs> Then I made this Mickey Mouse Dango inspired by the Remint, but I first saw it on Crafty Olivia's channel, I think. And then I made this chocolate bar, this ice cream cone from my tutorial, this mint chocolate bar, kind of inspired by Crafty Olivia as well. Um, I made, what did I show you next? Where is it? Oh. I made these two frozen yogurt charms. Ah, here in my mouth. Uh, this one's like a pink one, and I made the logo, but you can't really see it. It says, it says Froyo, so yeah, I just made that on paint. And there's this one as well, I like this one. <laughs> then I made this bunny on a lollipop, also inspired by Crafty Olivia. Um, the ear fell off, so I had to super glue it on. Then I made these two really, really cute um, peanut butter cookie earrings. And if you want a tutorial on this, let me know. I think that they're really realistic and I love them so much. They're so cute. Except they don't wear earrings, so I don't know. Then I made this marshmallow bunny. And I messed up the face, so it's kind of weird. And I made this Eeyore charm. Let me know what you think of it, because I don't know if it's that good or not. It took me a really long time, though, and I worked really hard on it. So, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Then I made three Disney cake rolls. This one I just made up. It's like a um, um, Sleeping Beauty one. You can't really tell, but I just used the color scheme. And there's a little rhinestone. I have this Minnie Mouse one. And this um, Dizzy Duck. I think that this one's really cute. And I think the Rement is like this one. Then I made this Totoro cookie, and I don't really know if it's that good or not. Um, it's all TLS, so it was kind of hard to make, except for this. I painted it on with acrylics later, but um, yeah, on the back is textured. Then I made my... Oh, wait, I'll show you the resin first. Um, I only have two resin pieces because the rest didn't dry properly for some reason, so I did throw them out. Oh, these are really old, by the way. So, there's this Christmas stocking. I haven't even sanded this yet, but, um, yeah. I'm gonna do some more resin soon. And then I have this one. I think that this one's really cute. It's really shiny. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, lastly, I made my first ever figurine. So, I'm just gonna quickly show you that. Um, so, this is gonna be entered in Cute Palmer Creations Contest, so please don't copy me. Um, so yeah, um, I made this Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore, um, picnic figurine, and, let's put it on there, so there's, um, Winnie the Pooh and baby Eeyore, which I think is pretty cute, um, took me a long time, and there's, like, a jar of honey here, and I painted that on, and it, um, I think the honey's really realistic, and there's a plate of, like, oranges and lemons and limes and citrus fruit, and, um, they're sitting on this picnic blast. I keep saying blasket. It's a blanket. Okay. Uh, there's some grass there. And there's grass around there. And then, um, there's a, a picnic basket there. And it has another jar of honey and a baguette. I think that's really cute. And the reason there's a weird spot there is because this tree fell off. It's supposed to go on there. But, um, it's, like, yeah, I tried to make it, like, a tree. And there's, like, a dangling beehive. And the kind of movement part was inspired by Max Mooch because she likes to do movement on her figurines. So, it's not going to stand up. You can't really see that. But, yeah, let me know what you think of my first figurine. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.